Good morning. If you're looking into starting your own food truck or food trailer business, I want to let you know, first of all, you're in the right place. So you do want to attend this entire three-part series, okay? So let me give you the scheduling so you can be here live because it will be competition after you see what I will be revealing today. Yes, I'm using all of those captivating words like finally reveal in order to get you to stay, okay? But anyway, let's show you the schedule. Okay, so this is the one you're watching right now, 8.30 a.m. The second one will roll out at 11.30 a.m. And the third and final one will roll out at 2.15 p.m. All right, this is a three-part series because we know you guys don't feel like watching an entire movie, but you want to do this with pen and pad or digital notepad, kind of like how I have this open, okay? If you're considering starting your own food truck or food trailer business, this is the easiest way, the most affordable way, and the fastest way to profit. All right, so first of all, why do you want to start a food truck or food trailer business in 2020? Let's come over here. We're going to discover why you would want to do one of that. All right. We come over here and we Google how much does the average food truck make a year? Now, obviously, this depends on your um, city, what you have going on, the size of your city, uh, events in your city, okay? But if you're in a major city, this is the average, all right? The average food truck will gross 300000 annually, and revenue has increased by 12% over the past five years. Employee costs can range 10 to 30 an hour, but a lot of trucks, blah, 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 20000 a month in sales. That was the highlight of everything, all right? So what I want you to know is that if you watch this entire series, you're not going to have to worry about employee costs. You're not going to worry about buying a food truck. You're not going to have to worry about marketing costs, okay? Oh, so that should give you some type of inspiration to stay this entire series because I am going to show you exactly why you want to start a food truck business if you haven't already started some other business venture already, okay? All right, so I'm going to show you how to scale up without even having your own truck, all right? So that's what we'll be talking about in video two at 11.30, all right? Profiting from many food truck businesses without buying your own food trailer. So how can you profit from many other food truck businesses? How can you take a complete stranger that owns a food truck, a food trailer business, and profit from his business without actually going to buy your own. All right, we're going to discuss that at 11.30. And at 2.15, we're going to discuss the masterful food truck marketing strategy. I put that brings all the boys to the yard just for a little bit of humor, hilarity, if that's a word, okay? All right, so you want to have a masterful food truck marketing strategy. I actually own a marketing agency, so I know how to do any type of advertising and marketing, whether that's Facebook ads. We're going to go over Facebook ads for food trucks. Like nobody ever talks about how to run Facebook ads for food trucks. We're going to go over SEO for uh, uh, food trucks, all of these different things, okay? And as well as organic word of mouth marketing strategies, how to make your food truck business go viral. All right. And not just yours, the many of your partners that you will have. So you're going to learn how to start a food truck business without spending a dime on a truck, without spending a dime on a marketing to the food trucks. But these will be your food trucks. So you don't want to miss a thing in my Aerosmith voice. OK, so this is the one we're on right now. Food truck business food truck, uh, trailer business is the easiest restaurant hack. So what do I mean by is the easiest restaurant hack? All right, so <clears throat> as we know, in the restaurant industry, in real estate period, uh, is location, location, location. The good thing about a, a food truck business is your location can change at any time. If you're not getting money over here, you can be on the next side of town the next day which is extremely powerful and beneficial, your restaurant, so to speak, is not stationary. You can always move. You can move it out of town if you want to, okay? All right, so now you might say, okay, David, well, 
what can I do with a food truck business? How is this so powerful? You're making it seem so awesome, okay? Well, look at this. We do fundraising events, community associ association events, teacher appreciation days, private catering, movie craft catering, universities and school lunch programs, birthday parties, tenant appreciation day, they can do weddings, wedding receptions. They can do corporate parties for businesses. All right, so you've seen it downtown. You've seen the food trucks downtown. It's not a new thing. They're outside of all of the warehouses and factories and business buildings and everything. So you can set up shop pretty much. You can get these contracts with these local businesses and literally just drive the traffic into your uh, restaurant on wheels. <laughs> all right. But anyway, this is exactly why you want to consider starting a food truck business because it's a restaurant on wheels. Like it doesn't get any better than that. Food will never go out of style. You have to eat, okay? And if it's one thing we've learned from this worldwide uh, event that we're going through right now is like delivery is powerful. Um, you know, the food has gone up. People don't really like going to the grocery store or anything. So if they can get something fast or get something that can be dropped off or get something that they could just run up and take and leave. All right. <laughs> food truck, this food truck industry has been around for a second, but it's going to explode massively. All right. So these were just a few ideas. So now you know what you can do. They have the street, uh, street food parades, like the food testing uh parades they have the food truck festivals that happen annually okay and you can just come on these sites and look around if you want to get a better idea you can go to any one of these sites but then i want you to just really meditate on this and this is the average okay but after i teach you what i'm going to teach you today make sure you watch all three i want you to set a reminder set an alarm to watch all three of these in this series, you're going to be able to double or maybe even triple your annual gross earnings for your food truck business because you're not only going to be profiting, listen to my words, you're not only going to be profiting from one food truck. Now, nobody else on the internet will tell you what I'm going to tell you right here. Okay, so make sure you watch all three. Love you guys. All right. So I will see you at 1130 and I will see you at 215.